was at a drugstore with my mother in my local, in my hometown of Ephrata, Pennsylvania, and while she was off doing some shopping, my, I was looking over the magazines, and all of a sudden my attention was arrested by the sight of a muscle man, and I knew instantly there was no lag time. This is what I was going to be, and there's, it's, it was a love affair, and I've been doing it ever since. Mike Menzer, człowiek o niezłomnej woli i determinacji. Jego historia nie jest tylko opowieścią o kulturystyce, ale przede wszystkim o poszukiwaniu własnej drogi i pasji w życiu. Mike nie był zwolennikiem ślepego podążania za tłumem. Wierzył w skuteczność, a nie ilość. Jego podejście do treningu było odzwierciedleniem jego filozofii życia. Skup się na tym, co naprawdę ważne, a reszta przyjdzie sama. But an important point, Anthony, I did not train for hours and hours every day. This is an important issue. Oh, okay. Um, contrary to what most bodybuilders do, which is train two to four hours a day, seven days a week, to obtain that condition, I train literally for 30 minutes four times a week, two hours a week. Yep. Dla Majka życie było kwestią równowagi. Każda decyzja, każdy wybór miał swoje konsekwencje. W kulturystyce, podobnie jak w życiu, kluczem było znalezienie tej właściwej równowagi. Podobnie jak w kwestii diety, gdzie to co jemy wpływa na naszą sylwetkę, tak w życiu nasze decyzje kształtują naszą przyszłość. It's primarily a matter of nutritional control, calorie control. As long as you know what your maintenance level of calories is and you go any number below that, you will lose body fat. Of course, the, the further you go into a calorie deficit, the more fat you'll lose at a faster rate. Uh, and the secondary factors, of course, physical training, building up the muscle tissue. But even if you are training and building the muscle tissue up and you have the fat, you're still going to appear fat. Lata 80. przyniosły jedno z najbardziej kontrowersyjnych zawodów w historii kulturystyki. Atmosfera wokół Mr. Olympia 1980 roku była gęsta od napięcia, a rywalizacja między Mike'em Mencerem a Arnoldem Schwarzeneggerem stała się centrum uwagi. Wyniki Mr. Olympia 1980 roku zaskoczyły wielu. Well, my immediate gut level reaction was was uh, paradoxical as it may sound was laughter. I just started laughing. It was ludicrous. It was so, it was so obviously an incorrect decision that my first response was just to laugh. It's interesting at the 1980 Olympia, the only people who saw Arnold as the winner were the seven judges and his closest friends. None of the other competitors saw him as the winner. None of the audience, or very few, only those that were his friends. Te zawody wywarły trwały wpływ na karierę Majka w kulturystyce i skłoniły go do podjęcia ważnej decyzji – opuszczenia profesjonalnej sceny kulturystycznej. I thought that evil was something you just read about in novels and newspapers. But in fact, evil is something that's around all of us. This brought it all into focus, and I didn't want to be involved or associated with people like that. I decided to drop out. Historia Majka Mencera jest świadectwem siły, pasji i determinacji. Choć droga do sukcesu może być usiana wyzwaniami i konfliktami, ukazuje nam ważność autentyczności, wierności własnym przekonaniom oraz szacunku do indywidualnych ścieżek innych. In order to train as hard as possible, you must retain a clear image of your purpose. Once your goal is sharply but realistically defined, all that remains is carrying out your plan. Don't, however, worry about your individual potential. Potential is only the expression of a possibility, something that can be assessed accurately only in retrospect. In other words, you'll never know how good you might have become unless you try. So let's get with it.